My name is Nicole with So Much More. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a face mask with a filter pocket, a nose wire, and fabric ties. While you're watching, if you see something that you like, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Head over to my website and grab your pattern and materials. So let's get started. This pattern has four different sizes. Each size has a separate PDF with unique assembly measurements on each pattern piece. I've linked the pattern in the description of this video. For this video tutorial, I'll be making the large size, which fits my own face. I'm using 100% pre-washed Quilters cotton fabric, some pre-made fabric ties, a prepared piece of floral wire for the nose. I'll also be using a sewing machine, scissors, sewing pins, clips, an iron, plus this cute little wool pressing mat. Each pattern piece includes the 1 quarter inch seam allowance. But before we cut the pattern, it's a good idea to measure the page for accurate printing. To ensure that you have printed the pattern correctly, take your ruler and compare the 1 inch mark on your pattern page. Now I'm using sewing pins to attach the pattern to my fabric. You may notice that I'm attaching these inside of the seam allowance. After I recorded this video, I realized that I should have cut out the pattern with paper scissors, attach the pattern to my fabric, and then cut the fabric around my pattern template with the fabric scissors. So please do me a favor and don't tell my mother that I used fabric scissors to cut through paper. Take a couple clips and secure the convex curve of the fabric pieces. Take this to your sewing machine and sew these pieces together using a 1 quarter inch seam allowance. Make a fold on one of the sides of the exterior fabric. You can make a single or a double fold. A double fold will enclose all of the raw edges. And then using a hot iron, press the beginning and end of each seam. Do this for both the exterior and the lining fabrics. Now I'm using a wool mat, which is especially helpful at setting seams. Take your exterior fabric to the sewing machine and secure the fold you just made. Take your lining piece and lay it right side up. Reference your pattern to identify the placement marks for your fabric ties, and then mark your lining piece on each side. I'm using a friction pin to do this. Be sure to place your fabric ties on the inside of each marking and clip these to secure for sewing. Each PDF pattern includes unique measurements for the cut lengths of the fabric ties. Now if you have elastic, I also have included cut lengths for that as well. Just reference your pattern pieces for that information. Once you have this cut, we'll sew this down. We need to hem the pocket opening. Lay your lining piece right side up. To determine which side of the lining that needs to be hemmed, we'll place our exterior piece on top, right sides together. Hem the same side on the lining piece as the exterior. Now we will join the lining to the exterior of the face mask. 
but first we need to manage the fabric ties by gathering them together and positioning out of the pocket opening. With right sides together, align the top seam using clips to secure all the sides together. Be sure to leave the pocket opening for turning. Once you have everything clipped into place, you'll sew around the perimeter of the face mask using a 1 quarter inch seam allowance. Before we turn the mask right side out, we need to snip the corners. It's also a good idea to provide some ease around the curve. Take some sharp tipped scissors and carefully clip the curve edge. Take care only to snip the fabric inside the seam allowance and not the seam itself. Now we'll turn the mask right side out you may need to use a tool to help poke out the corners. I'm going to use a chopstick. Use a hot iron to press the fabric flat. Now we need to add our nose wire. I'm using a floral wire from my local florist shop. Check your pattern for wire gauge and measurements. Bend the wire to the shape of your mask and then slip the wire inside the mask, then secure it with a clip. Take your mask to the sewing machine and top stitch around the perimeter of the mask leaving the filter pocket open. I've switched to my zipper foot so I can avoid running into the wire while I'm top stitching. Go along the perimeter of the mask, taking extra care around that nose wire. At this point, the mask is complete. Now you can add a filter of your choice. I'm placing a simple paper towel as a filter in my mask. I've seen and heard of so many different filter ideas. I would love for you to comment what kind of filter that you use in your mask. I think these enhancements to my original pattern really make this mask extra special. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video tutorial, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you sign up for notifications, you'll be the first to know about my next video. If you want more DIY, go to the link in the description and sign up for my weekly newsletter. Each week, I send you inspiration directly to your inbox. For more tutorials, head over to my website and Facebook group 
where there is always so much more in store.